Hey everyone, I wanted to welcome you to my course vlog here at my home course. So this is the first nine hole round that I'm going to be posting on the channel. This is my home course in Idaho. It's Red Hawk Golf Course, uh, probably one of my favorite places to play. Obviously, that's where I play out of, so you know, have to enjoy the places that you play at. Uh, driver has been kind of hit and miss for me recently this round it actually went decently we went a little bit left off the tee i thought it was a lot farther but this is a really short par five i think it's like 400 and something yards so it's extremely short very gettable so i had a wedge in pushed it a little bit but obviously gave myself a pretty good look here for eagle i do tend to miss my left to riders on the high side you'll kind of see that continue but tap in birdie to start a round is never a bad idea this hole is one of the harder ones on the course but it's playing into the wind so i thought driver would be okay i kind of teetered with the edge here i thought the wind would knock it down i'd be okay i was about five feet from being in the water so got away with it hit a nice wedge here kind of threw a dart right behind the pin obviously you'll see it bounce right there so we've got ourselves another really good opportunity here another left to rider another one that i leave on the high side which is unfortunate but you know what can you do i mean a couple of tap-ins for a birdie and a par are never really a bad thing especially starting off around like I said, this is only nine holes. This isn't a full 18. I'll probably do my first full 18 here in a little bit. Driver here, you pretty much just aim down this tree line because there's water to the right that you can take entirely out of play if you just hit it down the left. So that's exactly what I did. I find my way in between a couple of trees here and have a wedge in again. Pull it a little bit, but we've got about a 20 footer here. Another left to righter. We put a really, really solid roll on this one. I was really happy with this putt. And obviously the result kind of shows. So we're two under through three, which is a pretty solid start. Obviously, nobody's ever going to complain about that. I did have an issue with a couple of my shafts in my irons. They had some issues, so I had to rebuild them. So I didn't have the correct iron for this shot. So I actually took a six iron when really this was like an eight iron shot and tried to really saw it off and hit it softly. I actually left it pin high, but in kind of that little gully that you saw. A little right to left or up that hill. This shot's interesting. My foot slips, so I end up trying to save it, and I actually do a really, really good job and save it and end up hitting this little baby baby fade right down the middle. I included my uh, playing partner's shot here. He hits this wild slice off the tee, but he makes it work real well and constantly shoots high 70s, low 80s, so you know what? Really solid. I've got a wedge in again here, but I ended up pushing it and left myself this really funky bunker shot yep. and I tried to get too cute with it so I ended up chunking it and then obviously leaving myself an actual bunker shot which I would have preferred in the first place but we have another another up and down opportunity here put a really solid roll on it just leave it on the high side on a left or righter again so tap in for bogey so we go from two under to one under on a par five which isn't my favorite thing to do hit another kind of sawed off iron shot here but I ended up pushing it again just like the last one and it kind of ends up in this little collection area on the far right side of the screen leaving myself a little chip here not a super dip difficult chip I ended up not giving it quite enough and it checks up and ends up pretty well short this is actually about a 10 footer although it doesn't come up that way kind of hear my dog barking I don't know what he's barking at so we leave ourselves right to lefter here, and I just don't get it to the hole. I love left to right or right to lefters. I just didn't get it to the hole. I put the line on it, so that's that scenario. I mean, can't really be too mad. I include my other playing partner's shot here. He puts a really good swing on one, ends up you know, putting it right down the fairway. They're both really consistent at hitting fairway shots. This is a short par four that I do have access to with this mini driver. It was slightly into the wind, so mini driver wasn't quite what I needed distance wise. It's just short, dang it. I ended up leaving it just a little bit short, so nothing too bad. Hit a good little chip shot here, checks up nicely. I just gave it a little too much juice. So I'm leaving myself this kind of little double double breaker here. Put another really solid roll on it. Honestly, I was rolling putter real well for the whole nine holes, so I was really proud of myself. A uh, little tap in for par. This wedge shot was horrendous. I ended up chunking it about two inches. You want to go back and watch that again, be my guest. I leave myself another one. 
another like long putt. This is the first one where I really feel like I left putter out to dry. And I end up rolling another good one here. Just don't give it enough pace, so I leave it on the low side. Kind of wait here for it to drop, but obviously it's not going to, so we tap it in. But this was the only hole where I really felt like putter let me down. And you know what? If that's the case, only one hole does that, I'm pretty happy with it. Pipe a drive here. I mean, we're playing from a couple of forward tees here, so I am about 90 yards up from the tips on this hole specifically, which makes it very accessible. I end up pushing another iron shot, though, so kind of leave myself out to the right but another chip shot here kind of fluff this one so I ended up leaving it pretty well short so my wedges weren't really doing it too well but I give myself another good opportunity and as you can see by my point obviously this is a right to lefter which I said I really really enjoy so put a nice smooth stroke on it make a birdie and we end up walking out of this nine with uh, an even par.